Welcome back to Arise Prime Time. I'm Charles Enyagul, and I have our guest analyst in the studio for the rest of the program who will offer his perspective on the news and talking points of the day. And the political affairs commentator, Arise News Analyst, and head of mass communications at Bayes University in Abuja, Professor Abiodun Adeni, is here. Thank you very much. Thank you Indeed. very much, Charles. And uh, let me ask you broadly <laughs> what you made of, first of all, the Chatham House event yeah. and the defense that was put up by Otumbo, Otumba uh, Biodon Ajiboye there, who is a member of the Presidential Campaign I mean, Council. I'm mean the response of Professor Usman Yusuf as well. Yeah, uh, no, well, we'll, we'll come to that, <laughs> but right. let's do uh, uh, yeah, Biodon yeah, first. I think it's all getting very interesting, you know, mm. tension here and there. And sometimes you just wish that the election is nearer. You Absolutely. Know, because this is all this Get it out of the way. Yeah, all this is going to continue until um, February now, you know. And of course, at some, at some point, you might become fatigued, you know, with the back and forth, Absolutely. the exchanges, the controversies. And the interesting thing about the controversies is that sometimes you have an item, it blows off thoughts, mm -hmm. or another one comes up, blows off thoughts again, and of course, the circle continues, Absolutely. as the case could be. But in the circumstance of the Chatham House, Charles, Ordinarily, you would have wanted um, a candidate, you know, who is probably gifted, who has a gift of the gap, you know, who is a rhetorical, who is eloquent, you know, who can marshal his points, you know. But of course, we also have to appreciate, you know, individuals for what they are, individuals for their pedigree, their character disposition, their attributes, you know, and of course, and doing that just simply means that we are being fair to them. You know, from my knowing Bala Tinubu as a public, uh, but from my public um, knowledge about him from the 90s, he hasn't really come as somebody who is an orator, mm. you know, somebody who is exceptionally, who is eloquent, you know. Well, to be but honest, none of the candidates come know, across uh, as yeah, orators. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, yeah. you know, he hasn't really come as somebody that you identify, you see him as a great public speaker, you know, but at least he manages to uh, put out his points across, you know. And, of course, if we are having... Um, that highlighted now because it's um, going for the highest office in the land is probably because when you're looking for that kind of central office, you know, you come through greater level of examination. Mm. But at this stage, I think it is also helpful for us all to begin to manage our expectations, you know. When it comes to Peter B, for instance, I'm expecting precision, I'm expecting statistics, I'm expecting um, confidence, calmness, you know, maybe a systematic or above average rendition of his thoughts, you know. When it comes to Atiku, I expect some methodological presentation of his thoughts, even though they are short force in logic, but I also I see an ability to marshal his thoughts, you know. And so is uh, Rabbi Musa Kwanku, so I expect some systematic rendition of thoughts. But when it comes to Tinubu, I, I may not, I may lower my expectation a little bit, not because I'm denigrating him, not because I do probably do not like him, but because I also want to manage my psychology, knowing that he, he, he falls short in terms of an ability to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. But that does not take away um, some kind of quality, some other qualities that he will have. And this is the point I really want to make. I remember Stephen Hawking, for instance. He was a great scientist, you know, who was imp greatly impaired. He was incapacitated. But of course, his thoughts were very rich. And science was able to harness his thoughts and produce them into great books, you know, that influence science a lot, that inf influence physics a lot. I also remember Christopher Reeves, you know, who was also, um, who had impairment, but of, of course, he was also excellent in his thought. What about um, FDR, you know, one of the greatest American presidents. You know, he was incapacitated, but he led America and remained one of the greatest presidents to lead that great country. You know, perhaps we should be begin to understand within that perspective and maybe manage our own expectation, probably lowering it. I do not expect too much from him in terms of eloquence, in terms of locution, in terms of maybe um, oratory and uh, such other things. Perhaps we should look for other things to judge him. Well, you have and point, but yeah. well, I think Nigerians are looking for something more this time, not less. Yeah, yeah, but again, we do not even have to uh, take Panadol for that, you know, mm. because it's not the only one contesting. There are 17 others. So if we think that, you know, we're not seeing what mm. we want in him, there are other options, right? Yeah, there are other a, options. Yeah, that's so, a good I mean, point. What is the, what is, I mean, why should we really worry about um, his imperfection, you know? It's a disadvantage to him rather to, than to the rest of us because we have options and of course it's a democracy you know there are so many right. we have a range of um, um, uh, opportunities range of chances a range of alternatives that we can select from but of course as uh, the case could be professor usman yusuf would beg to differ and yeah. i wonder what you make of his own um assessment of that performance first of all coming on the back of 
Mr. Tinubu refusing to appear at the Arise Town Hall mm -hmm. in Nigeria, something that was done not just by Arise, yeah. but by a whole slew yeah, media, of right. media yeah. across the board. Yeah. Um, he, he seemed to think that that was a continuation of what we've seen from President Buhari, this delegation of, of responsibility yeah, and, and sort of ignoring yeah. the people who you really should be building a, a rapport with if you expect but, them to vote yeah, for you. These are genuine concerns. You know, there are so many angles to it. Um, so many angles will keep coming up you know, as we go along. Mm. Genuine concerns, um, no doubt, because uh, probably because um, Usman Yusuf supporting Atiku, no doubt. I mean, very clearly so. Yeah, he is. Um, I think concern is probably, he's having concern for Tinubu because Tinubu, you know, stand, also stands a good chance amongst the um, four, uh, the front four runner. you know, he's four one candidates, of front one of the front yeah. runners. And that's why this concern is also there. But uh, again, you know, um, sometimes you may not necessarily take decisions yourself. You may delegate it and you find the person um, carrying out the responsibility, being excellent mm. at the task you have given him. That's a possibility. Yeah, but but again, we, what we want rather, yeah. and that's why I'm talking about managing our expectations. Mm. We rather want, you know, a president, you know, who's got the cadence, who's got the confidence, who's got the ability, um, the knowledge, and the power of expression. Because there's confidence, you, you, there's a way you can generate con confidence or transmit it, you know, mm -hmm. when you are confident, when you, we see confidence in you as well. But in the situation that we are not seeing it, what then do we do? He has emerged on the platform of a major party. Do not forget, you know, they are, the, the, those in that party are not millions. These are intellectuals, sophisticated Nigerians, governors, um, senators, and all of that, but they chose him. So probably they, are, they saw what we didn't mm. see. And in choosing him as well, I think um, maybe they deserve some level of respect, you know, for choosing him out of all the lots, you know. So if that's what they are presenting to us, yes, it's, oh, the onus is now on us to, whether, to the accept it or say no to it, as the case could be. Yeah, that's, but that that's at the ballot box. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's the point. But, but yeah. I mean, what do you think, we've got about a couple of minutes or yeah. so left, um, what do you think of the fact that he refused to appear, for example, in the Arise, Arise Town Hall, um, which is focused, which Nigerians want, w are right, watching, yeah. and all the other front-runner yeah. candidates appeared, yeah. but chose instead to appear at Chatham House in London? No, no, it's, it's very curious, it's very disturbing. Um, it's not a situation that one would want. I don't like that situation, and I think it's something that can be resolved. And how do we resolve it? They, they are, I mean, the series is continuing. You know, it's just um, it's probably we are going to be we are going to have a fight. Mm. You know, of the multi-part serial. You know, so that one there's, a, there's still another opportunity as the case could be. And if he chooses um, not to uh, appear uh, um, appear at a rise. Uh, continuously is something that can also be resolved because Arise, you know, is a force just like other television, some other television station, you know, that should be reckoned with, rightly, or, I mean, co uh, that should be reckoned with, most definitely. So, if there are differences, it can be, be, it can be resolved, and that's the point we're making, because we are all stakeholders in the evolution of our democracy, and uh, these uh, big bats, you know, these broad sides, this suspicion, mutual suspicion, should rather stop, because we're talking about institutions, and of course, it's, it's the interaction of institutions is very important in the cementation of our democracy, as the case could be, Charles. Well, I, I've said. I trust you to always be down the middle okay. and uh, be very fair and objective. Uh, Professor you, Abiodun Adeni is a po political affairs commentator, Arise News Analyst and Head of Mass Communications at Bayes University in Abuja. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it. That's it for this edition of Arise Primetime. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.